James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is October 25th, 2023, 2.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Well, it looks like they're actually doing some monkey business to the models. And we're going to take a look at what's going on here. Now, first off, I'd like to point this strange red line at 11,000 hertz. Scary. And we also see a geophone being hit, but not very hard. It looks like uh, this was turned off for a certain time period. Now, this is Earth's electromagnetic field. Okay, not the Schumann residence. But it looks like it was turned off from about 17 to right before 1900 UTC time, about a three hour period. Now, please note that red line. Please note that there are no disturbances anywhere in the electromagnetic field. Now, I want to point out the date. And as you can see here, it's the 25th, 1800 UTC time. So, uh, that in fact works out perfectly. It's about what time it is. We see three spikes here, the Schumann residence, and arguably many more that are off the charts. Look how small the geophone hits are in these areas. These are very, very much spaced apart, and they're very much early on in the afternoon. Although uh, the machine was shut down here at 1600 to 1900, i.e., Earth's electromagnetic shield model was shut down. This one seems to have been shut down right after this big spike or doing a longer term spike here at 1717. You can see that it shut down after that. Now, this wouldn't be so weird, but it continues to get wilder and wilder. Let's continue to take a look. Now, I am checking my dates here. I can see that here is the 25th, first six hours, 12, uh, 18, 24. Well, ladies and gentlemen, where are those three spikes? They've disappeared. This is the six-day comparison of the Schumann residence. Here it looks like they've turned off this model as well during a time period between what looks to be right around 1600 and 1900, which matches up with Earth's magnetic field being turned off, but it doesn't match up with the Schumann residence. Let's take a look at that. First off, where do the three big spikes go? It turns off after the spike, or that spike could continue. We don't have any information. And here we're looking at that 17, 18, 1900, well, it looks like y'all turned the model off. Looks exactly like it. Geophones aren't modeling. Nothing is. What is this red line? I don't know. But that matches up to what's turned off on the Schumann residence six-day comparison, when in fact this is Earth's electromagnetic field here. Hmm. I am more confused than ever now. But please stick with me because I want to make it as confusing as possible. Do y'all see the three spikes here? These are each hourly strips. They should cover the three large spikes that went off the chart on the Schumann residence, which of course, what disappeared on the six day comparison. These are today. You can see the actual, uh, well, the 25th up here. And these are our hourly strips. Almost takes us up to real time. The spikes don't exist. They don't exist on the six-day comparison. They do exist on the Schumann residence model itself. We don't see any disturbance whatsoever, although it looks like it's been turned off on our electromagnetic shield model. And then to see the geophones never see those spikes that went over 110 hertz, welcome to Bizarro World. And you were probably hoping that was as strange as it could get. Well, guess what, folks? Not at all. All right, so this is the 23rd through the 24th, as you can see all lined out here, 24 hours. 
This is the 24th, and this is the 25th. So, obviously, they've shut this off one way or another as well. The 25th is today. We would be, well, just say off the charts over on the right somewhere. And look at the length of the 24th compared to them calling out the 23rd. One, two, three, four. There's 24 of those, 24 hours. So something has even happened to the indicators themselves. Uh, the ULF indicators, the ELF, uh, the geophones, our second SR frequency, either it's been turned off or they've been turned off or something's uh, also interfering with their information and data. Now, the environment is ripe to see Schumann resident spikes. You can see that the BZ is south, shields are down. Can show you the magnetometers are negative as well. You'll never see a Schumann resonance spike during a solar storm. I used to think it could be an agitator, but when Earth's flipping magnetic shields, they're very weak, encounter solar activity, they perk up very quickly to try to guard Earth. But you'll see them rush to the north, and then you'll see also. All of our magnetometers are running, well, pretty heavily negative in the negative. So we're not really ready for a solar storm or looking for one today. But you'll never see a Schumann resonance spike during one. And I've been double checking and checking my list. And it's just not occurring. So we really have two or three different causes we can talk about. The flipping polarity of our magnetic poles, uh, that decreasing or putting holes in our atmosphere, so that's going to have to roll up pretty quick too. And we have, in this case, and I guess this is usually always the case, a thunderstorm near or over the modeling station up here in Italy. And, of course, the modeling station is right there. We know where it is. There's two, and that means the modeling station will be right there. So when we zoom back out, look at those heavy thunderstorms. Taking a look at this, it could be snow again, right? Could be snow again. Uh, I will say that it is elevated. Uh, but let's put it in play and see what happens. Obviously, that's very close to the mulling station. Definitely some sl uh, snow accumulation there. So it very well could be that all of the anomalies we're seeing were due to the snow on all the modeling equipment. That would make perfect sense uh, and, well, equate for what we've seen today. But remember, you're not going to see a Schumann resonance spike while the BZ is positive and your magnetometers are positive. That means they're fighting off solar activity. God bless. Share. Subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.